All right, you're watching this video because you want to scale your business and probably bring on an assistant coach or someone who can take over something within your business that is costing you time, all right? So if you're wanting to bring someone on, I have five action items here in this video that I wanna share with you. All of these are really important. I could think of probably 10 more, but these are the kind of the main five that I want to bring to the table in this video because I know if you're looking to really grow your business, at some point you have to let go of certain things and having other people that can fulfill some of the work for you is how you do that. All right. So let's get number one here. So number one is we want you to get extremely clear on what the assistant is doing. Now, when I say assistant, this could be assistant coach. This could be an actual assistant that is helping you run the business. I don't really care how you want to frame it, but let's just say assistant, all right? The assistant has to be clear on what they are doing and it needs to be easy to train them on what to do, all right? And something that you want to try to think about with this is how quickly can you get them up and running, all right? So I'm going to give you an example for me. So I hired someone recently, uh, this was about eight weeks ago, and it took me three days to get them up and running the way that I wanted them to be. And the way that I did that, though, it wasn't just me like being like, all right, here's what I want you to do. It was like a lot of communication between me and that person. I had them do certain things when we weren't talking to prove that they were wanting the job and prove that they were efficient with the job that I wanted them to do. And I do that because I don't want to go back and forth with someone for a month and be like, oh, they don't know how to do it. Like, what's wrong with it? No, it's like if they don't know what to do, that's my fault. All right. I, if I'm the owner of the business and if you're the owner of the business, the people that work for you have to be very clear on what they're doing. And I think the more simple that you make it, the easier it's going to be for them to do a good job with you. And obviously, if they're doing a really good job with you, that means your business is probably going to be making more money. All right. That leads me to the second one here is like, is the job actually bringing in revenue? Is it a re revenue producing activity? And if it's not, then we need to figure out something really important because I see a lot of coaches struggle with this. We got to be able to figure out is the job that they're doing, like if it's not bringing in revenue, what is something that they can do that's bringing in more revenue than it costs to pay them per month? And the reason why I want to bring this up is because a lot of coaches, when they get to me, they have, they might have two or three coaches that work for them. And they're paying these coaches hourly and their profit margin of their business starts to, to sink a little bit when that happens, because instead of you just running the sessions, well, now you have other people running it and it's costing you a little bit of money to do that because you're paying them to go fulfill the sessions for you. And here's the thing though. I always look at everyone's business model. So if they're just doing everything one-on-one, -on -one, yes, you can scale that out. And I'll talk about in this video how to do that um, with coaches that work for you. Uh, groups is going to be the easiest model. And again, I'm going to explain that later in this video. Uh, but on your end, you got to be able to figure out the person that's working for me. I don't want to look at this as a cost. I want to look at this as like, all right, me bringing them on, they are making the business more money than I would if I was just doing this by myself. And it's not just making more money, it's profit. And that's a, that's a thing I really want you to get is because I see a lot of coaches that, that have a lot of, of, of assistant trainers work for them and their business isn't as nearly profitable. It's not as nearly profitable as it should be. Uh, it's because they're paying people too much. And all, also those coaches aren't really doing anything beyond what their their training job is to bring in new customers like there's no incentives in place there's no bonuses in place there's all the stuff that you can do within the business once someone proves that they are a good trainer to help them make more and help the business make more money through their time and th through their effort all right so something you got to figure out all right need help with that ask me okay uh next one i think this is probably the most important one i i see I'd say nine out of 10 coaches when they get to me and they have questions about how to pay assistance, um, like how to have systems in place. 
like most coaches, what happens is they get lost because they're operating with Venmo, Cash App, cash or checks. So it's like, imagine you running a session, you're getting paid on Venmo. And then the assistant coach is dealing with another client and they're asking them to pay on Venmo too. It's like, it's not going to work 100% of the time, meaning you're going to lose money if you do it that way. So we need one way of unifying the business, which is one payment system. It doesn't matter if you have one coach that works for you or 100 coaches that work for you. Everybody goes through your system and your assistants slash coaches, however you want to call it, they're not seeing the money. Like they're not, they're not getting their hands on the money before you. So you're always getting your hands on the money and you are paying them for the job that they're doing, but the money is not scattered. And this is a big problem I see with a lot of coaches is the money is all over the place. And that becomes a part-time job for you to track everything down. Don't want to do that. You have, you have uh, more stress on your plate when you have people that work for you than someone who doesn't. That's just the reality. And we don't want that to be an extra job for you. Why, why work more on the business when you're trying to work less? All right. So got to have one way of getting paid and you want to be able to obviously pay your, your people hourly. And if you go back to the last point, like if, if it's, if their job is not producing uh revenue, got to figure out a way to do that. So the business becomes more profitable with them included. All right. And I will tell you, that was probably one of my biggest pain points early on when I first started hiring coaches. Um, I didn't truly understand that. I thought I did, but I didn't truly understand it. All right. Uh, next one. And I told you earlier that I was going to talk about this, but when you bring on someone, ideally you're focusing on the group model. Now, when I say group model, that could be group training, that could be clinics, that could be camps. Um, you can take on a lot more clients if you have other people that can help and you can have a very high quality camp or clinic if there's multiple coaches there that are helping you oversee it and helping you run it. And that can help you make way more on camps, way more on clinics, and just throughout the year, way more with group training because you could personally be running a group training session yourself and right next to you could be two other groups run by two other coaches. You could be doing that per hour. Like I have another video on my YouTube channel where we talk about how to make like $900 per day. And part of that video could be you just running like a couple of sessions per week. And you have the coaches that that are helping you. They are running the rest of the sessions. Like this business could be set up that way if you want it. Um, but we want it to be really, really easy for you. The business model cannot be complicated. It's got to be simple. Um, and can you do one-on-one? -on -one? Yes. You could scale the whole thing out purely with one-on-one -on -one training if you wanted. And this is just the, the blunt truth. Um, most, most coaches are not organized enough to do one-on-one -on -one across 100 plus or 200 or 300 plus clients. Most coaches just don't have that level of organization. I'm not saying you don't, just most don't, which is why like group training is actually just going to be a lot easier to run and manage than dealing with a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions with a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaches. Uh, the most successful coach I'm working with right now, he has figured out how to scale with one-on-one -on -one training. Um, they have 100 plus coach, uh, clients on one-on-one -on -one, um, and they make it work, but he has a staff that can deal with the clients. All right. So that one's really important. All right. Next one. And I, I, this is something I talk about all the time on our mastermind calls with coaches that, that are considering bringing on someone, or maybe they're thinking about firing someone. Um, and that's a whole nother subject, but this is what it is. It's one bad seed will ruin your business. And at, up to this point for you, you've done a hundred percent of the work. Uh, it's been a hundred percent, your effort, hundred percent, your time. Uh, the reputation that you've set up to this point is all on you. So if you bring on a bad coach, and I don't even want to say a bad coach, I want to say a bad person. You bring on a bad person, that is 100% your fault. That means you didn't spend enough time asking them questions. That means you didn't probably, probably don't have a good onboarding process with that person. Um, probably didn't ask 
uh, the right types of questions when you interviewed them. Maybe you didn't interview them at all. All right. I know a lot of coaches, they just, they just go find people like this, they bring them in and that person shows up late. That person does like, maybe they have terrible language. Maybe like they showed up and they're high in the parking lot. Like I, I, I could think of a million different stories that I've seen with coaches that I've, that I've talked to. Like we got to be on it. And when you're on it, you end up bringing on good people that add value and good people that complement your reputation that you've set. So this way, if you go out of town for two weeks, the business can run without you. The training sessions can be done without you at that point because you have the, the high level of trust in the coaches or the assistants that you have to carry out a good job. And this is just how it is. Like, And uh, this is how I see it. And it's very... Uh, very black and white, but you know, this is how it is. It's like, you can either hire someone really good or you end up hiring someone that sucks. That's, that's just how it is. There's no middle ground. Uh, if it's in the middle, you, you don't want to have that type of person because they're, they're not going to care. Um, they're, they're not really going to do a good job. They're not going to go over and beyond. Um, and you want someone who's going to go over and beyond because you're going to be going over and beyond. Right. And you know, at the end of the day, no one's going to care about your business as much as you. And you've probably heard that before. Uh, but it's the truth. Like for me, like when I wake up in the morning, no one's going to care more about what I'm doing than me. That's that's the way it is. And it doesn't matter if I have a hundred people that work for me or if I have five people that work for me. It doesn't matter. Like I'm I have to be the one who cares the most. Um, but I need to bring, be bringing people on that can complement the reputation, that can complement the work that that I've done up to this point. And it's the same with you. So hopefully this helps. If you need more one-on-one -on -one help with scaling your business, go right below this video. You're going to see my phone number there. I talk to five, 10 coaches every single day, Monday through Friday. That's all I do. So if you want to work with someone who um, has already helped thousands of people, send me a text right below. You'll see my number. And if you're interested in joining our coaching program, there's a link also there. You can look at our school program. You can see how many coaches are in it right now. Uh, it's a great program for you if you're wanting to grow and scale up your business. That's it. Catch you later.